In this video, I'm going to go ahead and derive the variance of GLS estimators. So previously, we've assumed that we had some sort of linear model, y is equal to x beta plus u, where the variance is given by sigma squared times some sort of diagonal matrix omega, which crucially isn't the identity matrix. And in sort of deriving a blue estimator, we derived a explicit form of a GLS estimator which was equal to x primed times omega inverted times x all to the power minus 1 times x primed times omega inverted times y. And we know in the presence of heteroscedasticity that this particular estimator, the GLS estimator, is actually blue. In this video, I want to derive the variance of this particular estimator. In order to do this, we're going to use our sort of familiar result, which is that the variance of a constant matrix A times a random vector X is just equal to A times the variance of our random vector times A transposed. Because here, what we've really got is we've got a sort of product matrix, which this sort of represents our A, times, or actually including this last omega to the power minus 1, times some random vector y. Okay, so in order to derive the variance of beta hat GLS, we just use this particular formula here. So first of all, we just get the matrix A, and then we're going to multiply it by the variance of our random vector, which in this case is y. So we're just going to get x primed omega to the power minus 1 times x all to the power minus 1, times x primed times omega to the power minus 1, so that's just what I've got above here, times the variance of y given x, and then we need to find the transpose of this entire thing. Well, it turns out that the transpose of omega to the power minus 1 is actually just omega to the power minus 1. It's actually a symmetric matrix. So we can write this first term in our transpose because remember when you take the transpose of a product and this is just one big product the order inverts so the first term is just going to be this particular thing so we're going to have omega to the power minus one and then the next term is going to be this x transposed which has then been transposed which is just going to yield x and then we've got this entire thing in the bracket here which if you work through it essentially what we're going to have here is we're going to have x, this first particular term here is actually going to be this x, which when you transpose it is just going to be x transposed. And then if you work through it, we're just going to have omega transposed times x transposed all transposed, all to the power minus 1. And then if we replace this variance of y given x by the expression which we have up here, we know it's just sigma squared times omega. We can then go ahead and simplify this expression. So then we have that the variance of, well actually should, I should write the variance of beta hat GLS, given that we have our vector or matrix rather of our independent variables x, is equal to x primed times omega to the power minus 1 times x all to the power minus 1 times x primed. Then I've got this sort of omega to the power minus 1 times sigma squared. Well, let's just take the sigma squared out the front because it's just a scalar. So then I've got omega to the power minus 1 times omega to the power 1, which is just omega to the power 0, which is just the identity matrix. And then we get omega to the power minus 1 because we've got a further one, which is this one here. Then we get x. Then we get x primed omega to the power minus 1 times x all to the power minus 1. And notice here that what we've got is, is we've got a matrix, which is this thing here, inverted, times the matrix on its own. So that's the inverse of a matrix times the matrix itself, which just yields the identity matrix, which when we multiply it by this sort of last term here, it's just going to yield this last term. So the variance of beta hat GLS is just sigma squared times x primed omega to the power minus 1 times x to the power minus 1. So this is the explicit form of the variance of GLS estimators.